This presentation is uh, titled Slavery in Brazil. It's for History 131. My name is Karen Bowers and I'm a student at Davidson County Community College. Slavery in Brazil, which happened almost accidentally, grew to be more than 10 times larger than slavery in, in America. In the 1500s, the Portuguese um, explorers who were interested in getting into the spice trade accidentally were blown off course and they uh, found what is currently modern day Brazil. When they landed, they um, met natives who were friendly and they, through bribery and um, sometimes force, they made them slaves. Um, plant plantations were created for sugar and also gold mines were uh, found that would produce lots and lots of um, money for these Portuguese explorers. Um, over time, however, disease introduced by the Europeans and overwork would kill the natives off and so they would need more slaves. So at this point, they um, went back to Lisbon and then Lisbon is the picture that you see on the right here. It was a really large port city in Portugal and they had to find more slaves. So they decided that they would get slaves from Africa in, a, in an area called Angola. So they brought these Africans back to Brazil and set up um, sectors where plantations would be formed and where sugar would be um, grown and then exported eventually. The Imperial Mine um, School was part of the Imperial Mine, which was a gold mine. Um, gold was huge in Brazil and the gold mines um, produced a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Um, but the school was formed and organized, but it lasted only a very short time, only three years. Um, my thought on that is that masters probably didn't find it was beneficial to educate, educate slaves um, because knowledge is power and power needed to be in the hands of the masters and not the slaves in order to get the results that the masters wanted. Uh, punishment was very common. Whippings, torture um, were common in during slave times where African slaves were um, punished in America. Um, it was similar but Brazilian slaves were treated much, much, much more poorly than American slaves were. The torture was very barbaric. Um, a slave might be um, tied down and lashed with uh, whips over 300 times. And then after the whipping, when the flesh was open, they would put salt or cayenne pepper in the wounds. And this made the torture even more intense, of course. And then they might tie the slave down to an ant hill and let the ants bite the slave. And these were just some common tortures. Um, this picture on the right shows a, um, a picture of a slave in Lisbon, Portugal, being um, tied to a pole and lashed. This was very common in that time. Um, treatment of women was um, also pretty bad. <laughs> if a woman was pregnant, um, she was expected to still carry on her duties just like normal. Um, she might be sent out as a wet nurse to multiple, multiple, multiple babies, and this affected her health, and many, many babies died. Religious freedom for slaves um, was unheard of. Um, slaves typically practiced things like superstitious practices and um, worship idols and things like that. It was just not a, there was not a dedicated, informed religion for the slaves. In the documents that we read, um, there was there were several things that were talked about as far as religion goes, as far as not allowing the slaves to have religious freedom. Um, sovereignty of slave owners was one of these things. The quote was, his slaves be kept in ignorance of any authority superior to his will. It was not in the uh, slave master's best interest for the slave to have religious freedom because this put somebody else or some other entity over the slave instead of the master. The master was supposed to be perceived as the most sovereign uh, entity in the slave life. That meant that the slave would be obedient to the master. Religion could have also been seen as a reward to the slave, and slaves were not re rewarded. 
and religious freedom would have been considered a reward. Brazil and slavery in Brazil um, can easily be compared to feudal times in Europe. Uh, the slave was on the bottom of the totem pole. Feudal, the feudal system had layers or caste system. So you had the peasants and you had the royalty and the nobility and slaves were, it was the same kind of process. Slaves uh, had a different social standing. The power of planter not only over slaves, but of free persons of lower rank. So the slave owners not only had control over slaves, but they also had control over anybody of lower rank. So anybody who was less stature of than the slave owner were under their power, under their control. This, slaves did have certain things that, that were expected of them, but they also um, had a little bit of power on their own, but it was deceptive power. It was power that, it was things that they took control of in their personal lives that they kept uh, secret from the slave masters. Slaves planned deception against the masters. In one quote by Coster, he says, the slave has a natural bias to deceive him who holds him in subjection, meaning that the slaves wanted to be free. They wanted to have power. They wanted to be to do things on their own, and anything that they did on their own had to be done in secret. Okay, so they were very restricted in what they were able to practice. There were examples in the document of retaliation of the slave. Um, in one instance, the slave was um, walking down the road, and the master um, struck the slave with a cane because he had his hat on in the presence of the master, and then the slave turned around and stabbed the master and killed him. And this led later to the slave being left alone by anybody in power. So that was an, one example of retaliation and the result of that, but that was not a very common thing that would happen. Typically, the slave would be punished or killed. Slavery related to modern day Brazil, um, slavery in, in the past had a big effect on what Brazil is today. In 1708, the construction of the Sao Francisco Church and Convent, which is a huge church in Brazil, that was built mainly on slave labor. So the slaves built all, the, all of that church, and that church um, was built at the cost of slave labor. Um, protection on, of slaves on the sugar plantations in Brazil um, was pretty much non-existent unless the slaves took it into their own hands to make themselves protected. And one way they did this was a practice called capoeiro, which was a form of martial arts that's still practiced in Brazil today. Capoeiro was um, um, almost looked like a dance. So if the slave owners saw these slaves performing this capoeiro, they assumed that it was the slaves making merry or dancing. So it was a way that they could be deceptive and hide what they were doing, but it was also a way that they could protect themselves as well. They also developed their own religious practices and their own religious customs and things. And these today are integrated into the religious uh, beliefs of the Brazilian people. Uh, condom condomble was a blending of religions and it's still present today in the blending of religions, and some of that is traced all the way back to the times of the slaves. So slavery had an impact on modern-day Brazil as well.